Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another Mel Chemistry video. You already know who this is, it's your boy Musa Rakkari. Oh my god. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another Mel Chemistry video. You already know who it is. It's your boy Masara Caddy with the new cut. I like your cut, G. Anyways, in this video, we're going to be doing the ion exchange resin experiment from the pure water set. So, without further ado, let's start. From the starter kit, we're going to take a plastic tray, safety glasses, and a disposable cup. Okay, from the set, we're going to take some ion exchange resin. It looks like fish eggs or something. Anyways, a double-ended measuring spoon, some protective gloves, a filter body, a vial stand, which kind of got dented inside of the set, a pin opener, a plastic vial, two cotton cylinders, a measuring syringe, some copper sulfate, and ammonium carbonate. Now that we have all our stuff ready, let's put on my gloves. We will first start off by putting a cotton cylinder inside of our filter body, as so. Then I'll open our ion exchange resin, and I'm going to put the wide end of the body filter and insert it inside of the vial. Then I'm going to tilt it this way, and we're going to try to collect some of the resin. Oh, there it goes. It looks like fish eggs. Wait, I'm going to do a close-up shot so you guys can see what it looks like. Now we just have to tap it. Oh my god, it's out of focus. Please focus. There you go. I just have to tap it to get all of it inside. And then I'm going to insert another cotton cylinder on top of the resin. So I'm going to squeeze it all the way because last time we did the other experiment and it didn't filter properly because there was a gap between the cotton cylinder. Okay, basically we needed three vials, um, but it didn't say so. But basically we're going to take these three vials and we're going to insert them into our test stand, just like this. And I'm going to insert our filter into the second vial. Then I'm going to pour the disposable cup halfway with water, just like that. Then I'm going to add one big spoonful of copper sulfate. Oh wow, it stinks. Okay, I fixed the setup a little bit. But what I'm going to do is take the syringe and measure 4 milliliters of the obtained solution and put it into the first vial. And now I'm going to take 6 milliliters of this water. I'm going to transfer the solution into the assembled filter. Okay, wow, this is filtering pretty fast. Now I'm going to remove the filter and set it into this other vial. And now we're going to compare the color of the solutions in both vials. Okay, so I'm going to add five drops of um, ammonium carbonate into both vials. So five drops. Bismillah. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the one on the left is definitely more blue. Okay, I think we saw how they changed colors. But now I'm going to insert the filter into the third vial. And I'm going to fill the funnel halfway with ammonium carbonate. Look at that. The resin turned blue. Cool. So this was interesting. Like, notice how the resin turned blue and look and notice how they changed colors. Okay, so let me explain what happened. We used copper ions to test our filter because it is easy to identify them in a solution using a simple qualitative test. Resin based filters work equally well on other heavy metal ions too. These resins are long polymers with ions of alkali metals such as sodium ions attached to them. The heavy metal ions replace the sodium ions clinging more tightly to the resin. Meanwhile, the water molecules pass freely through. As a result, sodium ions safe to consume in small amounts replace the more dangerous heavy metal ions in the water. Anyway, this was it for this simple but yet interesting um, experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.